Alright, we're at Dirty Dog Outlaws, Phillip Island, Australia. Uh, we're doing an SW30 swap uh, for a customer in New Jersey and we wanted to document how we, we went about doing it. So, uh, first step was obviously start with a blank slate, so that it was just a body shell and this is just our, our test mule. So this one's for you, Johansson. Um, what we've got here, we've got the laser level set up down the centre of the wheel, that gives us the centre of the wheel arch. That's our kit, so now we, what we're trying to do is make the bracketry to suit the MR2 rather than what we use in Australia which is the MGF. So we've centered that up, we've fastened this in place down on the bottom of the seal and we've just got on a jack stand at the front. And what that's going to do is get us in the right position. We'll put the laser level on that side, center that and we'll also center it going on in the middle of the car. That's the, the front clip. So this is just what well, part one of the body swap. The next thing we'll do is we'll fit the doors and, and we'll, we'll trim the door skins to suit and we'll just work our way back on the car. And it, the, this is, when you've got a kit already, this is probably the simplest way to, to body swap a car. So let's just say you bought our kit and said, oh, I want to put it on, I don't know, uh, a Porsche Boxster. Now, the dimensions of a Porsche Boxster are a lot longer, so you'll have to, and wider, so you'll have to stretch it a bit. So that's why you sort of, you, you go with a car that has got the right wheelbase and the right width to the kit you've got. But this can apply to any kit. So you buy a kit and it might be generic to go on to, I don't know, maybe a space frame. But you don't want to do that, you want to do a body swap. Well, this is the process that you go about to, to get that done. So just follow us and like if you, if you do like what you're seeing, like it and subscribe. And um, yeah, follow us on the MR2 build. Yeah.